welcome. I'm so excited you're here today. I have a fun, fun card for you, and we're going to jump in and start making it. Before we do, I just want to tell you to make sure that you're signed up to get my free tutorials on my blog, because tomorrow I'm going to be emailing out to my whole email list uh, PDF tutorials for the card that I'm making here today, plus one other card. So you're not going to want to miss out on those. They're exclusive tutorials. They will not be posted on my website. And um, you can only get those tutorials through me, through my um, free tutorial email list. So to do that, make sure you go over to levinstampin.com and at the top, you just put in your name and your email, and you'll be signed up to get them. Okay, so this is Cheer All Year stamp set from Stampin' Up. I love it. It's really versatile, and we are going to be using this stamp set today to make a really fun card. So what I have is a piece of old olive cardstock cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches, and I've already scored it just to save us some time here on camera and folding it in half. And then I'm going to grab my Texture Boutique. Now Stampin' Up! no longer sells this tool, um, but you can use your Big Shot for embossing. You can use your Cuddle box Bug to emboss. So there's lots of embossing tools out there. If you want one of these Texture Boutiques, you can get one um, at any store. Um, but I'm just using the one I have from Stampin' Up! when we were selling it. So let me go ahead. It's a little bit easier to carry around. It's just one more tool, though, to have. So... I could live without it and just emboss with my Big Shot if I had to. That wouldn't be a big deal. The Big Shot's the best tool to have because it's so versatile. You can use it for everything. So I just have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that I stuck in between my embossing folder here. And I'm smashing this down. And I'm going to run it through here. And I cut that piece of cardstock at 4 inches by 5 and a quarter. So that it will fit nicely onto the front of my card. Get these out of the way. And um, I have been trying and trying and trying to figure out what to do about my lighting. See that? Okay. My lighting being so bright. And um, in the room I'm in, I have just lots of window light. And then if I turn on, like right now, this is with no lights on my desk. Yeah, this is just from window light. And see how bright that is? It's, it's still kind of hard to see my cardstock. So if you guys have any suggestions for me on, on great lighting for my video setup, I would love to hear it. I've tried all kinds of stuff. Okay, so I am just going to adhere this piece down to the front of my card base. And then I have a piece of the Merry Moments Designer Series paper stack. Now, I don't know if you've seen this stack, but it's amazing. It's great for, remember Friday, I talked about getting a jump start on your Christmas cards. This is one of the papers I talked about because it's got so many sheets of the same paper. So it's easy to make lots and lots of cards using um, repetitive color patterns and stuff like that. So um, anyway, we're using that here. So this is a piece of designer series Merry Moments paper and we're gonna layer it down and it's cut at five and a quarter by, I don't know what. <laughs> It'll be in my PDF tutorial. Okay, and then I've got a corrug piece of corrugated cardstock. This is also in our, um, catalog. It's wonderful. It's in the annual catalog. It's great because you don't have to make it like this. It's already like that. So I just cut this out on the big shot. It's just a star that I cut out. So that was super simple. And these are the types of Christmas cards I like to make. Stuff that I can cut a whole bunch of stuff and assembly line it and then just crank it out. And this is one of those kind of cards. I could just crank it out. So I'm just going to kind of go midway here and then I got to do some stamping and to do that I need, I'm missing my little piece of cardstock so let me grab that really quick. Um, I am really excited. 
I'm teaching a stamp class tomorrow. It's called a stamp a stack. And this is one of the cards that they'll be making. And so I'm gonna be excited to see how much they like it. So we're gonna use Christmas cheer and real red Stampin' Up ink. I'm just gonna ink that up. And I'm gonna kind of put it in the center because I wanna give myself room on each end for my next step. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to attach this kind of like in this area. So obviously it's too long, it's hanging off the edge. So we need to cut it here and then cut it here. But to do that, I'm gonna use my triple banner punch. Now, I've shown this before, but I'll show it again. A lot of people are using the triple banner punch just according to these measurements, which is um, one inch, one and a half inches, and two inches. You cut your cardstock to that um, width, and then you slide it in here in your punch. But all you have to do to use it at any width is simply turn the punch over, take your piece of cardstock, slide it up inside, and then you can see what's happening. And you can see there's the beginning of my letter and that's the beginning of my word. So I'm gonna scoot this back down just a little bit and punch. And now I have this perfect little banner shape um, at the end of my sentiment. And it was really easy to do. Okay, so triple banner punch is a must have. I. It's so, the story with the triple banner punch for me is hysterical because when it first came out and I saw it in the catalog, I told my upline, Patty Bennett, um, that it was the silliest thing I'd ever seen. I'm like, why? I don't understand. People can just notch it out. That's not a big deal. Nobody's going to want to buy that thing. Well, she said to me when that happened, she said to me, Wendy, it's the most handy punch ever. It's great. People are going to love it. I was like, no, I don't think so. Well... Fast forward, I own it and I use it all the time. So Patty Bennett won. She has been doing this for 20 years, so she knows more than I do. That's what I'm chalking it up to. She's smarter than me. And so I love that tool. So if you don't have that tool and you're a crafter, even if you don't make cards, if you do tags or any other kinds of crafts, it's super handy. It also is great to make bookmarks. So I suggest having that one in your arsenal. Okay, so all I've done is taken linen thread and kind of woven it through this button. And then I'm going to use my glue dots. To adhere this down. And I missed a step on this card and I'm going to show you the difference. So it actually is kind of working out that I missed a step so that you can see what it looks like with this little added step and it really does add a lot to the card. I just totally forgot to do it but I have another one made so you'll be able to still still see it. Okay so I just made a little bow and I'm trimming off my excess and that's my finished card. Now check this out. Let me see if you can see the difference. You might not be able to on camera because it's so bright in here. This card has this little bit of silver thread under the star. Do you see that? So it's this stuff that we sell on the spool. It's great. It's literally just like thread. And I just, okay, what's happening here? Uh, I just put a bunch of it on, there we go. The back of this heart or star before I adhered it down and then I used a red button we have this really cute button pack with lots of different buttons in it and um, they're Christmas buttons so the supply list for these items is in the description below click the link and it'll take you to my blog post that has the supply list for this if you want the PDF tutorial on how to create this card then make sure that you sign up before tomorrow for my um, tutorial mailing list. You can sign up on my blog at the top of the screen, put in your name and your email, and you'll get emails from me. I only send one email a week, and my job is to send you joy in your email box, not crap, so that's what I try to do. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you need any Stampin' Up! supplies, make sure to pick them up in my online store. The link to that store is below this video, and make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye.